Hey guys, what's up? It's Lee again, and it's about 2.30 in the morning, and I'm going to do another fragrance review for you guys. Um, I'm reviewing three fragrances tonight. Um, a couple of them are very older fragrances, back from the 50s and even all the way back to the 20s. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my headphones again tonight. Um, I kind of like wearing my headphones when I'm doing a video. Um, it's just, just the thing, something that I do. Anyway, the first fragrance that I'm going to review is from the Design House of Chanel. And um, as you know by now that I like wearing Chanel fragrances, I think they're very, they scream chic, they scream posh, they scream elegance. And that's just what Chanel is, is for very elegant people that appreciate elegant perfumes and elegant scents. And that's what Chanel has. Um, of course, Chanel nowadays, they've got some more youthful scents that, you know, like an Allure or Chance and... Um, that I'm not too crazy about. I, I like more of a feminine scent, very uh, lux luxurious scent. And this one is uh, Coco Chanel, and it's the Eau de Parfum. It's in a 1.7 ounce classic bottle. Uh, this fragrance is uh, Oriental Spice. It's classified as an Oriental Spice, so it's got it's got some floral scents to it as well as spice. It's a combination of both. Both oriental, very, very beautiful fragrance. I oh, just love smelling it. It's, it's very, it's very chic and very luxurious scent to it. Recommended for evening use if you have to go to like a formal dinner or a formal party or something very formal. I wear it a lot when I go to something that's you know less contemporary but more formal. Um, I will, I will we'll wear this. It's not my signature fragrance, but I do like it. I do like it a lot. So yeah, this is the um, Eau de Parfum in uh, the 1.7 ounce classic bottle from Chanel, and this is the Coco. Introduced in 1984 from uh, the design house of Chanel. The second fragrance that I'm going to review is um, from the design house of Estee Lauder, and it was probably introduced in 1956. Um, yeah, I do like a lot of older fragrances. I think the older classic ones have more of a lasting power. I think it's more the ingredients that they use and the, the floral blends and um, spices that they use in the older fragrances that make them last long. This is new, the new stuff out today just doesn't doesn't stay, even, even in an Eau de Parfum version. It just does not stay with me. Um, this one is Youth Do from the design house of Estee Lauder. And it has a very warm scent to it. Um, Youth Do is interesting because if you wanted, you could use this as a men's fragrance. Um, it's classified as a woman's perfume, but you could use it as a men's fragrance as well. I love this fragrance, especially in the winter time. Now's a good time to wear this because it's it's got that warm vanilla, um, even cocoa beans there's there's some cocoa beans in this fragrance as well along with vanilla i think bergmont and there's one other one that i don't remember what it is but it's a very very um nice warm fragrance i like warm fragrances this came as a gift set from uh, estee lauder and it's got the eau de parfum which is 2.6 ounces and the body satin may cream and i use them both i use this one first and then and the perfume to layer it to make it last longer. Um, the third perfume that I'm going to review tonight is also goes back to the 1920s. This was introduced in 1921, uh, right around the same time as Chanel Number no. Five was introduced. Um, it's actually an interesting fact that the the designer of this perfume and Chanel Number no. Five. Were the same people. I think his name was Ernest uh, Ernest Bu. I think his name was, and this is from the design house of Bourgeois, and this is Soir de Paris, as we knew it here in the States. Evening in Paris. This has got a very flowery fragrance, a very um, citrus. I guess it's a citrus floral fragrance, if you will. Um, it's in the Eau de Parfum, and it's 1.6 ounce spray bottle. It's very classic bottle, very elegant shaped bottle. I love the color of this bottle of cobalt blue. Um, yeah, but this fragrance here has got some base notes of Lang Lang and peach oil and rose. 
that smells absolutely heavenly. Um, I don't wear this very much because it's a it's harder. It's becoming harder to find this fragrance. Um, it retailed for about forty five dollars a bottle from Sephora when I bought it three years ago, and I've probably used not even a third, not even a quarter of it. Um, it's becoming harder to find, but yeah. This is from the Design House of Bourgeois, Evening in Paris, or Soir de Paris, as we call it. And it's, um, I guess, a it's, it's, more, it's a floral um, citrus or fruity fragrance, I would say. So it's very, it's very elegant also. It's very um, chic and recommended for, this is probably recommended for contemporary. You could use it as a daytime fragrance or an evening fragrance, whichever you prefer. I use it sometimes as an as a daytime fragrance i'll wear this to work occasionally but mainly i'll wear this in the evening when i have to go to like dinner or to a movie or something just you know to switch up the way i smell sorry um okay to review coco chanel introduced in 1984 eau de parfum 1.7 ounce retails for 85 dollars from the major department stores um this comes in two sizes if you get the classic bottle, um, 1.7 ounce and 3.4 ounce. The 1.7 retails for 85 and I believe 110 for the 3.4 ounce. I'm not not sure because I don't buy the, the bigger bottle, but yeah. Coco Chanel Eau de Parfum, introduced 1984. And here we have Youth Do. This came as a gift set. So you can also, you can buy these separately. Um, this gift set here was $39.50 from Belk, and it's from the design house of Estee Lauder, introduced in 1956. So this is Youth Do Eau de Parfum Spray and the Body Set Nay Cream, also in Youth Do. And it's a very woodsy, um, warm fragrance, uh, perfect for wintertime. And it's contemporary also. You can use this day or evening, whichever you prefer. Um, I do wear this sometimes during the day. Um, yeah, very good, very good scent. I like this. I like this one a lot. And last, Soir de Paris, or Evening in Paris, from the Design House of Bourgeois, introduced in 1921. It is a citrus floral blend fragrance. Um, can be used contemporary or um, evening wear. It's not as elegant as the Chanel perfumes. I think Chanel's got more of an elegant scent to them, more luxury, luxurious scent, it, um, you know. But that's just my preferences, you know. But anyway, so there you have it. There's the perfume reviews of tonight. If there's anything that you want me to review, any kind of particular perfume that you that you like to wear, that you want to um, purchase, but you don't know what it smells like, and you want me to review it first before you go out and spend money to buy it, whatever, let me know. Send me a comment. Send me a private message. Whatever. Tell me what you want me to review, and I will get a sample of it and review it and let you know what I think of it. And... Yeah, so please rate, comment, and let me know what you think. All right, that does it. That wraps it up. Good night.